What's going on guys? Welcome into End on a Make and today I just wanted to say Lakers fans don't panic. It's okay. It's two games. It has not been ideal <laughs> those two games. It has not been an ideal start but knew it wasn't going to be easy going into the season getting all of these new players uh, to gel together. 0-6 in the preseason. A little concerning but you know, preseason, no one cares. Veteran, a lot of veterans on this team. So, you know, they're not going to go out there and kill it in the po in the preseason. Like, what? no, there's no use to put miles on, on them like that. But the first two games, uh, game one against the Warriors, LeBron and AD were huge. Um, went crazy. Came up a little short because of uh, some things. Uh, Steph Curry caught fire at the end, as he is wont to do basically against any team at any point without warning. Um, and Russell Westbrook and a couple of other players, you know, struggled with their shots. And it was it was not the debut that we wanted. So then <laughs> we get... <coughs> so then we get to Friday night against the Phoenix Suns, who beat them in the playoffs, knocked them out in the first round in their, in their path to go to the finals. The Suns kind of just ran the Lakers off the court. All the effort and all the defense and everything that was there on opening night, even though it came up short, was just gone. The Suns were getting anything they wanted against the Lakers, and frustrations were clearly high. There were a couple instances where LeBron just didn't run back on offense after getting a stop. He just like stood there, like past half court. And I don't know if he was talking to refs, talking to other players, talking to who, but like he just stood there and it was like his, his hands on his hips. And like this is something that's been brought up before about LeBron is that, you know, he doesn't go as hard as he can every single play. He's very like cerebral about like, oh, I got to save energy here and there, save myself a bit of time here and conserve energy this way. And, you know, but game two, it's not a good look. Game two, your team's getting blown out. You just standing back there after not even like blocking the shot. It it turned out that he didn't block the shot. It was um, Cam Johnson just kind of stuffed it off the rim. Um, not a good look. And then to top it all off, you get Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard yelling and pushing each other in a huddle in a timeout before halftime, which then becomes the only thing anyone wants to talk about. Uh, second half starts. Dwight Howard in a warm up shirt never touches the court again. Um, and of course, everyone wants to know, oh, what happened? And all they said after was, hey, we squashed it. It's over. It was over when it was, as soon as the moment was done, it was over. And I, I don't know about that. Like, that's the only, like, that's a concern. Um, Anthony Davis is a pretty <laughs> black ago mellow type of dude. Like, you don't usually see him like that. And he was kind of just barking at everybody um, Friday night. And I don't know if that was a, a frustration thing where he was frustrated so he just kind of started taking it out on other people or I don't know what that was but if it's already like it, the pressure of being in LA is you know is already pretty well known because LA the Lakers are expected to win they're expected to dominate they're expected to be showtime every time and this is a, a relatively veteran team with you know with players that are still trying to gel and like Russell Westbrook had a has had a hard start to the season, but he's also had a hard start to the season like the last three years, and two of those years were on different teams. So like he had a hard start to the, the Rockets tenure, which ended up just being that year. He had a hard start to the Wizards tenure, tenure, which ended up being last year, and now here he is trying for the third straight year to gel with a team of brand new teammates, uh, including two uh, ball dominant players by the name of Anthony Davis and LeBron James. So. It's a tough spot for a point guard like that to be in who doesn't really play off ball and is much better served with a smaller lineup. Uh, as we saw in Houston, with like they got rid of Clint Capella and, you know, for the ra last bit of the regular season, Russell Westbrook was like a basketball hurricane. He was just unstoppable. So he does a lot better with the ball in his hands, small a smaller lineup where he can just go and just be a force of nature and that's definitely not the LeBron Anthony Davis game. And that's not the game with, you know, the older players, the other older players that they have here that are more like set, catch, shoot. So it's going to take some time. And, you know, that's going to be expected. Results will vary night to night as they figure out everything and build chemistry. But 
the goal isn't to you know be the one seed through the regular season it's to get to the finals and the the thing that concerns me really i'm not worried about two oh and two to start the season i'm not worried about russell westbrook shooting slump i'm not really worried about any of that the thing that worries me as a lakers fan is if they're already snapping at each other like someone was joking that maybe anthony davis like said something to dwight about like oh you didn't make the all the nba 75 list or something like that and like i doubt it but it did look like whatever was said was something about like challenging his effort or challenging the the effort on defense and i'm sure that anthony davis probably feels like you know sometimes like i can't be everywhere at once like if 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 i need you here be here like well come on let's go and so it's just tough i'm sure it's tough but it's just not a good look when you know two games into an 82 game season that you're hoping will go at least 16 more in the postseason you're already yelling at each other like you already have to be like pulled apart and like that i think just kind of goes to show the pressure that comes from playing in a major market like la they're like they're owing two like in the scheme of things that's not really anything but because it's the lakers because it's lebron and ad and westbrook and carmelo and all of these guys it's a huge story because they're supposed to be a juggernaut already so I would say Lakers fans, don't worry about the record. Don't worry about the shooting. Just keep an eye on the team's chemistry because as that goes, this team will go. Um, not a good look to see, you know, LeBron not walking back or not even running back on on def- or on offense even. Um, just kind of standing in the half court. Like, that's not, a, that's not what you want your team to do game two. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'm sure if they win the next game that this will all be a moot point, really. But... I just wanted to hop on here really quick and just say like shooting statistics all that doesn't really matter right now is it's a brand new season with basically a new team trying to build chemistry uh the thing that's going to be important to watch is just what that chemistry looks like um because if game two is an indication it will be a long season so i don't know lakers fans let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about this team um if you think that they're going to be patient and kind of try to let things build if you think they're going to try to panic and blow it up really quick and just make whatever moves they can, um, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will be back soon. Thanks for watching.